Okay guys, back from vid 2. I got some actual goals going on now, get myself a little more organized. Still gotta fix some quality issues, but it'll be all be fixed. So I got some main goals here, it'll be top 1000 high scores, collect clue scroll rewards, should be a blast, should take forever. Collecting all ball sprayers, probably gonna start with like molar bear or something peasanty. Short term, I wanna get split burke, wand, and orb. AFK runespan, open ports, get miscellaneous unlocked, get 26 crafting for spider silk robes. Which that might change because I'm doing some research and yeah. Okay, so today I got home from class finals because college is nice and blast. Decided to chill out. Um, I was doing some more fleshing to try to get out of the goddamn oaks because I've been chopping these forever. And I just managed to snag 41 room crafting. No, what? Wait, what? <coughs> Whoa, Jesus. 41 wood cutting. I got my rune axe here. And then I had to stay logged on long enough while I was room wood cutting. To get my 1,000 daily uh, tokens for the override costume. And then I decided to stay on long enough to get my tusk as well before reset. And here's the final line of this. I've been trying to get this all done. For the uh, rewards, I want to get the four abilities or so. And I might also get the war priest from it as well. Um, yep, yeah, this is fast forward clip because no one really wants to watch this. It's a bit of a much. But yeah, once I get done the tusk daily... Which actually is giving me a lot of fire making XP. I've almost gotten 30 now. I'm going to skedaddle on over here. And then somehow not remember how many points I have. Realize I'm way too short. And then cry to myself. And yep. I'm probably going to go just left to right. Just knock all the abilities out. Because I feel like having all four can't really hurt. Now here comes the start of the questing quest. I'll start getting them requirements tomorrow. First I'm going to focus on is dig site. And I'll be doing this, get these requirements tomorrow, I'll show clips. I get 30 mining and then I can start doing shooting stars and then I can start making money. And it'll be a nice daily and nice mining XP. I will catch you all next clip. Okay, here we go. Time to snag some requirements for the old dig site as I try to readjust my little Twitch chat thingy that gets annoyingly in the way. Alright, so first thing I did was get 10 agility, only had to go from like 7 to 10, so I just hopped on to Berthor for about 5 whole minutes. I don't think anybody wants to see that whole clip because I don't even want to see that whole clip. Uh, knock that out, and the next thing I want to do is Herblur. And I had some um, ingredients left over from the Druid Ritual quest, and I had double XP from the Shadow of Rashdale. So I turned around and knocked that out too. It took like one inventory, like 15 attack pots or something like that. Nothing crazy. And then came 25 Thieving. I had to go from 1 to 25. Pickpocketed men for the first five levels, then went over to the T-Saw, and just picked it forever. And after a little under an hour, knocked 25 out, and then I was like, alright, time to go dig the dig site. And then I realized what time it was, and then I didn't do the dig site. I went and did my daily, which um, finally got me enough points to get my first ability from the Tusca minigame, and I got the sacrifice ability. I think I might go for War Priest next. That or Tusca's Wrath, I'm not sure. My game plan has been changing on that. I did say I was going for the skills for a while, and I didn't do that. So, we'll see what happens there. I'll keep you updated next. I won't show this clip again until I'm getting ready to buy another ability. Because this minigame is kind of boring, and it takes forever. Yeah, nobody really wants to watch that. And then I realized I had a daily mod, or a daily challenge that I had to do with crafting. I was like, alright, sweet, maybe I can get 26 out of this. I had to get mine a bunch of soft clay... And then turn it into mining urns, and then I turned that in. And I looked at my loot bag, opened it up, I was like, oh wow, I'm gonna get like four oak logs or something dumb like that. I got a few K and I got a dragon stone. And I was like, that is awesome. Free glory later. Now I gotta figure out how to transform it into a glory. That should be a blast, but I'm gonna keep it in the bank. I'm not gonna wanna mess with it for a while. Nah. So that will come in handy just like a hundred videos from now. Not really. And I finally got around to the dig site. And that quest still kind of sucks, but RS3 is way quicker because the run doesn't run out every four seconds. Went and knocked that out. And with the, re the reason I did this was to get 30 mining. And then from this, I can do at least decent stars now to make money. And this got me up to 32, I believe, so I can use an Addy pick as well, which is like, sweet, another bonus. I got a couple of gold bars which will come in handy for making some jewelry later when the budget is tight. Also snagged 17 air blower out of this. 
So I was like, ah, oh, it's a pretty good deal. So I might be doing some quests to boost my herb lore and then find some ways to level that up because training that's probably going to be my hardest skill. That or smithing. Can't decide yet. So then I went to gather the rest of my daily tokens. So that meant making some more oak longbows. And I finally got 35 fletching. And part of my daily challenge, I have to make 336 oak bows. So I might do that. Um, haven't decided though because I can do willows now. So I think I might do it just for the reward of the daily challenge. And maybe I'll get something good. If not, it's whatever. I got a bunch of fletching experience out of it. So I'll keep you updated on that. Probably be tomorrow I do that. Because I don't feel like doing 336 goddamn um, oak long shit. I don't know long ways anymore. They're... Um, uh, what are they over the shield bows which doesn't make any sense realistically have you ever, like if you put a shield on a bow it just doesn't seem like it would work very well but runescape so good to G went back to this realized that the circus is still a thing and got some levels out of that I think I got 23 mage a few range levels and a couple of agility levels I legitimately forgot this minigame has existed because I haven't really had a need to do it on any mains or anything like that. Although I probably could have, I just kind of ignored it. But I realized any free XP is good XP, especially at lower levels, so went and knocked that out, got some crappy circus pants, and then continued on with my day. <clears throat> yeah, here's. And it took me a minute to realize that the crowd yell stuff, and if you do that, you get more points. But I was like, meh, at this point. I'm like level 12 agility. I can't perform anything anyway. I just keep cracking my old ball sack on a damn tightrope, which was really annoying. And then, yeah, if you get repeat, you don't get as much XP. And you just kind of start losing it there. I will. Yep, we're going to end with this clip. No, not ending with this clip. Ha! I lied to you. We are back with the next day because I took an extra day to record this. Ho oh, ho, you weren't ready for this. I should have condensed this clip. Holy God. Jesus Christ, I really should have. Alright, so while we're still here, I'm more thought about more than my goals. What I think I might start doing is questing. I think my whole next video might just be questing or getting racks for quests or items because. That's also, I realize, is a problem and an annoyance on Iron Man. Like I'm about to show you in this clip, I wanted to go do the Knight's Sword, get, what is it, like 29 free smithing level or something like that. It's pretty awesome. And realize I had to get iron bars, and I didn't have the smithing level to smith iron bars. So, like, god damn it. So, I had to go into Lumber Sewers, kill rats, finally got the two iron bars, come and drop my butt. And then I had to make a red berry pie. Went to go make a red berry pie, I realized I didn't have 10 cooking, so I was like, alright, well, a couple more quests I can knock out here. So I did Cook's Assistant because I'll need that for RFD later. Get gloves. Decent size gloves. Decent size gloves. What? Lull. Decent stat gloves. The uh, bear. Whatever they're calling bear's gloves now. But Colin Romancer gloves 10. And then I was like, alright, I'm going to do Gertrude's cat because that should give me enough. Then I realized there's another monthly I forgot about. And that is the statues. It got me, I think, to 11 construction and 8 prayer. So that'll only compound on itself. Once I unlock Canifus, I'll be able to do the fourth statue. Once I get Priff, I'll be able to do the fifth. Then I did Gertrude's Cat, and that reward got me a kitten, which I will raise and then immediately sell for Death Runes, which is kind of messed up in the moral sense, but free Death Runes, dude. Pretty awesome. And they got me 13 cooking. And I was like, sweet, I can finally make this red berry pie. Had the supplies to buy one, made it uncooked version went to go cook it I was like oh shit I hope I don't burn this I got super lucky got the first one didn't even burn it so then I went and did the night sword that you not that long of a quest at all I went and knocked it out and I don't know what all this is in this Faldor courtyard anymore it is like Sarah Sarah resides in this castle what happened did I miss an event or something holy crap either way I'm gonna end this video here got a nice cool 29 smithing I will talk to you later. Hopefully next video will be more quests.